welcome to the return of warlord wednesdays this is your host alvaro cortez jr aka lance danger i just wanted to take a couple of weeks to do kind of like a return to form for a warlord wednesdays where i'm going to be presenting profiles and webcomic commentary on my main webcomic fred peterson the mighty warlord in between working projects and in between doing the remake of the manga version of fred peterson the mighty warlord the printed version so let's start off with the very first profile video that i'm doing for this webcomic and of course, let's start off with the protagonist, Fred Peterson himself. Even though he is the main protagonist, it's almost an ensemble cast in this webcomic in many instances and in many of the storylines as well. But the story does revolve around this character and a lot of things happen based on the decisions of this character. So. For all intent and purposes, he is definitely the main character of Fred Peterson, the Mighty Warlord. Now, Fred himself, his personality, uh, he's kind of a outgoing kind of guy. He's kind of a jock, but he's not arrogant about it. He has his own reasons to be into sports and whatnot. He is a somewhat normal 18-year-old. He is a sophomore in the fictional Old San Juan University. Uh, he is studying graphic design. He made it to college on a basketball scholarship, mostly because he didn't want to depend on his parents, especially his father. Uh, Fred has a very strained relationship with his father, and that's something that's pretty apparent since the first uh, chapter, first issue really. Uh, you can see kind of his parents squabbling a bit while Fred goes to his parents' home to kind of do his laundry, you know, doing the whole broke college kid routine of having to do your laundry at your parents' place. So, Fred is a very outgoing person. He's very friendly to everyone, open to everyone, but at the same time, he's very reserved when it comes to his emotions, his feelings. He opens up to very few people. He doesn't even open up his emotions much to his uh, girlfriend in the first storyline, uh, Cheryl Smith. The only person that he kind of opens up to now and again is really uh, one of his closest friends, John Gardiner, which whom he kind of sometimes have like relationship talks whenever things aren't going smoothly with Cheryl. So he's kind of like his go-to buddy to talk about these things. And of course, his most bestest friend in the world is Jane Marie Jackson. Everyone just calls her Jane. They, um, they're childhood friends. They've known each other pretty much since they were babies, since um, their respective parents were actually friends in college. So they pretty much grew up together. They grew up in the same area as well. They were pretty much essentially neighbors living in the same town. Of course, in Puerto Rico, uh, towns usually aren't very big to begin with you know not like big cities or states here in the mainland united states so both fred jane uh hail from vega alta uh john actually is from a neighboring town called dorado but he eventually joins the cast as well later on as a kid and um pretty much in school is where he meets Jane and Fred and the three become fast friends and then of course in high school things get a little bit disruptive when Cheryl joins the cast in high school as well. Now Fred is one of those type of people that he kind of tries to go with the flow. He doesn't want to rock the boat you know unless he has to. 
which is kind of like the demeanor that he has as a superhero as well because once he turns into a hero he actually doesn't want to be a hero like that's the last thing he wants to do because he has enough with school and his private life and his home life like to become a quote unquote superhero as well so he really doesn't want to do the bit of being a superhero but of course as in instances of these kind of stories go circumstance just throws him into that spotlight whether he wants to or not he is by no means a perfect character he's very flawed and if you've read the webcomic there are times where he will kind of lash out against people unnecessarily even though at the moment he may think he's justified but at the very least he has the self-awareness to eventually kind of if he believes if he sees that he's in the wrong he will go to that person and apologize and try to make amends uh, one of the bigger scenes in fred peterson the mighty warlord is in the second storyline when he and Jane actually have a small argument. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into spoilers of what that argument was about, but he kind of lashes out at her in an unfair way. And by the end of the chapter where that happens, he realizes the mistake he made and he does go on later on and apologizes to her. Now, a lot of people actually think that Fred is based on myself, and not really, to be honest. And I know a lot of people also think that, to an extent, physically as well, I based, uh, I based him on myself. Um, that also is not really all entirely true. Uh, there are certainly elements of my personality, and... I guess some elements uh, physically as well since he is a basketball player in college uh, that's how he's making his way through college as uh, getting a scholarship through uh, basketball through sports and he also does kind of like small you know part-time jobs as well he works part-time in a supermarket and whatever little side hustle he can get uh, he'll do it too to have that extra money once again yes so he doesn't have to rely on his parents all that much and since he doesn't live on campus and whatnot he lives in his own apartment complex that's close to campus he also pays rent and all that stuff so he's pretty much living on his own He's entering full-blown adulthood with no parachute, pretty much. But he is not me. He's definitely not me. If anything, to an extent, John is closer to my actual personality. If I were to choose someone from the cast that was more like me. But I'll get to that when it's John Gardner's turn to do these profiles. Fred Peterson... Um, there is some of me in him. Like, I put some of my qualities into him, like the interest for art, the interest for basketball, the taste in music and whatnot, and kind of like the uh, geeky aspect of him. But as I read, well, as I read once a long time ago, if you're going to put personality traits into your original characters based on yourself you should not make it like a complete idealization so even though this is a this is an extremely idealized version of myself in a way um in real life i'm pretty introverted uh, i'm definitely not as outgoing as fred is so not only do i have like that kind of idealization of being more outgoing i also put in a lot of unexaggerated uh, features of my flaws as well because he's not going to be a well-balanced character if i just make him like a complete idealization of myself he'll just become pretty much an avatar of what i wish i could be rather than an actual living breathing character that i want to portray 
Well, this has been actually pretty fun to do. And once again, I hope that you all kind of enjoy these kind of little profiles that I'm going to be making for these characters and this webcomic. Uh, there you have it. That's Fred Peterson, the Mighty Warlord in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching or if you're just listening to the video while you're doing something else. I appreciate it nonetheless. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll catch you all next week when I talk a little bit more in depth about the character Warlord himself, um, Fred Peterson's uh, alter ego.